uh, which is our graphene aluminium ion battery, which is quite a unique type of technology. While the automotive industry puts a lot of faith in their current battery lineup, some outlier battery technologies may take the world by surprise. So what would happen then if a battery appeared that could have a life of up to three times longer and charge up to 70 times faster than your typical lithium ion battery? These are exactly the battery innovations that Graphene Manufacturing Group has to offer. So how does this groundbreaking battery charge so quickly? And what other other advantages does it have? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. This world-exclusive type of battery is a significant step closer to reality thanks to Graphene Manufacturing Group, or GMG, and the University of Queensland Research, as well as UniQuest, commencing their scale-up research project on the graphene aluminum ion battery. Not only is it cheaper, faster to charge, lightweight, and lightweight, but it also features better environmental credentials and has a longer lifespan than other lithium ion counterparts. So how much is the price of graphene aluminum ion batteries? The materials used by GMG's battery, including natural gas and aluminum, are readily available throughout the world. All those hard to source, hard to process, and hard to dispose of rare earth elements, elements would be unnecessary. The average price of a Tesla 4680 battery pack was $101 per kilowatt hour in 2022. Mr. Nickel, CEO of GMG, calculates that this new battery costs roughly $25.25 per kilowatt hour, or nearly four times less than the 4680 battery from Tesla. Thus, if you own a Tesla Model Y standard range with an estimated battery capacity of 60 kilowatts per hour, replacing the battery pack with a graphene aluminum ion will cost you $1,515 instead of $6,060 for a 4680. For a revolutionary battery, this cost is really inexpensive. Mr. Nickel also stated that he is convinced the batteries manufactured by his business would also be more cost effective than those already on the market because of a less intensive material basis and lower overall weight, which clearly pays off in logistics. But charging time is what most electric vehicles owners care about. So how long does it take to charge a graphene aluminum ion battery? The graphene aluminum ion cells from the graphene manufacturing group are claimed to charge up to 70 times faster than the best lithium ion cells. This battery charges so fast, it's basically a supercapacitor, the GMG CEO claims. It charges an iPhone coin cell in less than 10 seconds. These characteristics compare favorably against typical recharge lithium ion type coin cells, which takes three to six hours to recharge. But what's the breakthrough in the weight of GMG's battery? Tesla's 4680 battery cell weighed in at 355 grams, compared to 89 grams for the graphene aluminum ion cell. Nickel is talking about the major nanotechnology breakthrough GMG's graphene cell presents. Developed by the University of Queensland, the surface perforation of graphene allows aluminum atoms to sit tighter on them. Nickel says that this is what allows GMG's cells to be so much lighter. Furthermore, graphene aluminum ion batteries provide major benefits in terms of longer battery life. So how many years can we actually expect? It last cycled over 2000 charge slash discharge cycles in testing so far with no deterioration in performance, which means it could last up to 45 years. In contrast, lithium ion batteries have a lifespan of up to 15 years at best as their performance degrades with charging cycles. Now then how would the energy density of this battery compare with lithium ion? Uh, we're sitting at 150, 160 kilo, uh, watt hours per kilogram. And then we're sitting at a power density of about 7,000 watts per kilogram. When it comes to energy density, the graphene aluminum ion prototype cells tested so far are not that impressive. They have presented an energy density between 150 watt hours per kilogram and 160, while Tesla's 4680 batteries would offer 260. But that is not something of concern for nickel. He claims that it has the potential to present three times the energy density of lithium ion cells. In fact, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory has once presented an aluminum ion cell with 1,060 watt 
hours per kilogram. Lithium ion's limit would be 406. But besides that, another significant advantage this cell presents is that they have, they have a higher power density of 7,000 watts per kilogram. For comparison, lithium ion batteries deliver a maximum of 340. Another major point that we have to discuss is safety. So is this battery actually safer than lithium ion? I uh, put it into uh, electric vehicles. Uh, we, there's highly likely, and grid storage, highly likely that we won't need any cooling. Graphene aluminum ion batteries not overheat nearly as much as lithium ion do. They are nicely below zero so far in testing, and almost 20% of the weight and cost associated with a lithium ion battery pack is attributable to high performance cooling systems, which can be eliminated in most graphene aluminum ion battery use cases. They don't need circuits for cooling or heating, which currently accounts for about 80 kilograms in a 100 kilowatt hour pack. How does graphene aluminum ion battery affect the environment? Directly created from natural gas, graphene powder is produced by GMG's patented production technique, which has clear environmental advantages. Using nanotechnology developed in conjunction with the University of Queensland, powder is crushed into a pellet shape and implanted with small aluminum ions. About 90% of aluminum products are currently recycled. GMG's graphene aluminum ion battery would be incorporated into this well-established aluminum cycle. But besides that, hydrogen is a byproduct of the fabrication of graphene aluminum ion batteries, which has additional use in the transportation sector to power fuel cell electric cars. So, can it be applied in real life? Uh, with our coin cell uh, power plant and also our power factory. GMG CEO Craig Nichols said, We are currently looking to bring coin cell commercial prototypes for customer testing in six months and a pouch pack commercial prototype used in mobile phones, laptop, etc. for customer testing in 18 months. He thinks there are a lot of opportunities for this technology in automotive applications, especially given how well it performs in fast charging and regenerative braking conditions. According to GMG, the aluminum ion battery is virtually interchangeable with the lithium ion battery in many applications. When do you think we'll start seeing graphene aluminum ion batteries out on the market? And do you want your phone or Tesla vehicle to use this battery? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.